Buying a new property is appealing to a lot of people because it means not just that they end up with a brand new property at the end of the day, but also because a lot of developers have a help a part exchange scheme in place where they'll buy your property from you and you don't need to worry about being in a chain because often where there's a chain there can be delays and lots of other problems. If the builders are buying the property from you, you can exchange and complete as soon as the build is ready. Before you make a decision about which development to buy your property on, it's always a good idea to get as much information about the development before you've made your decision. Speak to the neighbours. They're the best people to speak to who can give you information. They'll already have moved into the property. Um, they'll be able to give you information about the developers, how they dealt with any snagging issues, and also give you information about the area if that's what you need before you make a decision. Often the cost advertised for the property isn't the final cost you'll end up paying so make sure you check with the developers to see exactly how much you'll be paying. Sometimes there's additional costs added for things like connection to utilities, white goods, flooring etc. So make sure you've got the final cost so you're working towards your, your budget. Once you've got the final figures for the developers for the build, you can always negotiate the price. Don't be fooled into thinking when you buy a new build you have to pay the price the builders want. Once you've got the final price, speak to the developers. Whether they're willing to negotiate or not will depend on how long the property's been on the market, whether there's any other buyers interested, also the general state of the property market at the time. But always negotiate. If you don't ask, you don't get. When you're buying a new build property, it's always important to make sure you protect yourself against shoddy building work. If you can, ask the developers for a full specification plan of the building. You'll have all the measurements, what finishes they'll be using, etc. That way, if you'll be able to see once the build is completed whether they have cut any corners. Often, if the property hasn't been completed yet, the developers will want you to complete on notice, which means you don't have a fixed completion date. Once the build is complete, the developer solicitors will serve notice and give you, say, 10 days to complete the transaction. Um, often, sometimes the builds can be delayed just because of the nature of the work they're doing. So it's a good idea to see whether you can negotiate a long stop date with the developers, which means if completion doesn't take place by a certain time, you can withdraw from the contract and your deposit or anything else you paid will be refunded to you. There's different types of warranties available for new build properties. The most common one is a 10-year structural warranty known as an NHBC or something similar to that. There are other warranties available as well such as architect certificates where the cover is slightly more limited and for a lesser period of time. If you're buying the property with a mortgage you do need to check with your lender to see what, whether they'll accept the warranty that's being offered to you by the developers. If you are thinking about buying a new build property and need any advice or assistance or if you've got any questions then please do contact myself or any of my colleagues in the conveyancing department and we'll be really happy to help.